My name is Mike Kirsch. I'm with Freshmark, uh, manager of food safety and regulatory. We have four facilities in Northeast Ohio. We produce bacon, hams, hot dogs, sliced meats, and dry sausage products. So the QM module we're using to do the QA checks and the food safety checks. Prior to utilizing QM through Trace Games, we had several different hundreds of forms that we would make pads out of and QA technicians would collect them, put them together every morning and then go down to the floor and document through pen the checks that were performed throughout the day. The biggest thing we were really looking for was that real-time electronic means of collecting this information to have the most accurate records we could get and the most legible records we could get. That's where Trace Games has really helped us tremendously. In regards to more accurate record keeping, um, it is real time. When the technician enters the, the date and time in, they're basically hitting that now button and it records the actual date and time and stamps it at that point. Um, it pr provides those accurate records because the technicians are logging in as themselves, so you have an electronic signature every time they do a form and complete a form, and it's been very useful for us. It does have the picture capability to where we can take pictures with the iPad, and it attaches directly to the form. It allows being able to change and update forms, and then the next time that QA technician goes to that form, they're actually using the most up-to-date form out there. Obviously, with them entering it in on an iPad, the legibility of documents are not an issue. Um, the information is very easily retrievable at that point, and the times are extremely accurate. As far as distribution resources, spending a lot more time on the floor has definitely been a benefit when they're not having to come into the lab, put all their paperwork together pre their work shift, during their work shift, you're gaining time both ways. It allows us to be able to do a lot of distribution of resources as far as technicians and what they can and cannot do, and it creates a lot faster audits. We would just pull up our procedures and documents before, but now we can pull up our records right there in the conference room when a, an auditor specifically asks for a specific record. Basically, we just filter for that date, that record, and we can pull it up and show it to them at that time. As far as audits, anymore we find audits that basically they won't decide until they get in here. They'll pick a day, they'll pick a month, and that's the time frame of records they want to review. Well, if all those records are put away in a file cabinet, you have to spend that time to go and retrieve that information. Whereas through Trace Gains, basically you're entering that time frame in or that specific date and pulling those records up automatically at that point in time. Definitely a benefit that we've seen. Um, we weren't real sure how we we're going to be able to eliminate our internal software collection system of our critical control point information. Two of the four facilities have totally went to trace gains as far as our CCP checks, um, and it was very smooth transition. The forms were easier to use, um, and we, and it becomes more timely. In addition, as far as the verification, when we do direct observation, the operator is logging his information there. Basically, the rec record automatically populates once he saves it, and then the verifier can do the verification val validation right then and there. So it made it, it made it an easy transition. We find the dashboards within the QM module very beneficial. It creates a lot less work, especially some of this when you're doing the monitoring and then the verifying. But in, in addition, you can actually uh, personalize the dashboards, so we find ourselves making specific dashboards for specific technicians because when they go in there then they just see their records. You don't see everybody else's records, only the records they need to fill out. And when it comes to verifying, validating, and pre-shipping, it, it makes it that much easier to do that also because you just basically select only those records, the dashboard selects only those records that you're verifying and validating and to make sure they've completed the required number of checks and all the checks were acceptable, or if they were unacceptable, you'll see that very easily because they'll be marked out of spec. But from a verifying and pre-shipping standpoint, it does a nice job displaying that information. It's been a very smooth transition for us. We find ourselves finding more forms that we continue to add to trace games 
and we've actually had a push from our production supervisors have found what we've been doing from a QA perspective and we're now starting to add some production check forms into trace gains so they can start that monitoring process. Thank you.